This is how to construct a phylogenetic tree using Mega. So we have learned to download the Mega software. Now let's use it. Open the Mega software interface and select Align. From the drop down menu, select the last option and a blast window opens. Prior to performing blast, have your consensus sequence ready in a notepad. The consensus sequence from the notepad and open the blast windows. Having copied the sequence, paste it into this box shown here and give a job title, a meaningful job title for your blast analysis. It is very important for us to select the 16S or ribosomal database for our analysis. As we are performing the phylogenetic analysis, it is important to select the highly similar sequences option and click on the blast button. Now it's the time to wait for the results. NCBI blast gives the result in this following pattern and scroll down to get the tables of similar sequences. Choose the highly similar sequences and select the accession number of the first similar sequence, highly similar sequence. Sooner, a new tab opens up. Is click on the add to alignment to pops up and do what is shown. Minimize the screen and go back to the blast results. Now close the tab of the first uh, first similar sequence and go back to the blast results. Second sequence should be selected, the accession number and then the similar method as we followed before should be followed till the alignment screen pops in and your visible and the sequence selected is visible. The same procedure for the first 15 to 20 similar sequences and obtain all the results of all the sequences in the aligner screen. Okay, there are several sequences added to the sequence aligner. Now it's time to add our consensus sequence so that we get a phylogenetic tree indicating the place of our consensus sequence and our organism. Let me maximize this screen and let's add the consensus sequence. Here go to edit, choose the option insert from a file and select the file from your directory and your sequence is inserted like this. Now you can change your sequence title to anything for your use. So uh, let me name it this way. In the sequences, select one of the nucleotide, press Ctrl A or select everything and go to alignment, select align by cluster omega and say OK for the dialog box. Say yes here also. And then if there are any uh, stop codons in, in between, it will ask us just say ignore and your sequence alignment is done both pairwise and multiple alignment is done so there are some gaps in the between in between the sequ different sequences so all those gaps deletions insertions are clearly indicated so you can save this file i'll show you how to do that
now go to file then uh, select ses save session option control s and give your session a uh, meaningful name so that you can retrieve it whenever you want and then say okay the file fo file format should be in mega software format itself so whatever by default the formats are uh, let them be as it is as they are and just say save and the session gets saved which can be retrieved whenever you want for further analysis so in part of this video so we will continue doing the phylogenetic analysis that is constructing a tree using some statistical methods using the mega software once again need to open the mega software home page and then we will follow the following steps so now let's maximize and then select the option phylogeny here choose the second option that is by neighbor joining method for this you will have to retrieve the file which we have saved so go to the file location and for uh, selection let's choose all formats and then choose the saved file open uh, yes like this all format should be open so the file gets opened up and this dialog box comes again uh, pops out so here select the neighbor joining method if at all if uh, it is not there bootstrap method sorry but it uh, select the bootstrap method and the rest others uh, shall be as default whatever 500 bootstraps etc the maximum uh, composite likelihood all these things let be as they are from the software they are as they are given so let's finally click ok as you click ok uh, the processing of the data gets completed and the phylogenetic tree appears in front of you here there are two tabs original tree and the other one so select the original tree and we'll uh, further continue to change the format of the tab so go to view option here and then we will go to style here in the traditional style you can go uh, either uh, rectangular circular or curved or any other forms that are available and which is uh, best suited for your purpose so this way you can uh, construct a phylogenetic tree using omega software so one more part of the portion is left so that is altering or editing the colors and the branches of the tree that we have constructed the dendrogram or cladogram that we have constructed now go back to uh, blast results so we will find the first highly sequence highly similar sequence so it is 100% similar so let us the query uh, sequence is 100% out of out and it is around 99% similar so we will rename the query sequence as the first organism that is which is the first organism which is found in the blast uh, results we will name this organism as that so using that uh, amylobacillus amyloliquefaciens we can rename the organism as the as the we have named it as query sequence but now we will rename it as uh, bacillus amylo liquefaciens so or and if you have isolated it from any source and you have named it something you can name it with bacillus uh, amylo liquefaciens and your strain name and or code that can be given this is how you alter the name of the sick uh, organism that is present in the phylogenetic tree in this uh, screen that the font style has been changed that part of the portion will be dealt in the next video uh, now we will understand how to save the uh, phylogenetic tree in the form of a picture so image copy to clipboard and you can paste it in a new paint screen or in a powerpoint or in a 
word file format so i'm saving it as some uh, name uh, some file so you can name it anyway you, if possible and wherever in your directory so this is how we name it phylogenetic uh, tree save yeah uh, then we need to save this also so we will just save the session by uh, giving it a understandable name so that it can be used for our future purposes so we are naming it that way and we'll close the session so by this the, by the end of this video you we have uh, you and all, all of us we have learned how to construct a phylogenetic tree using mega software so let's stay tuned for the next video so that we can learn how to edit the phylogenetic tree that we have made so you can enlarge it and see so it is clear uh, thank you friends for watching uh, thank you once again one day matter bharat mata ki jai